Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what the day is bringing for the Aquarius. What is the day bringing? How is Aquarius coming into the reading? Okay, it's Seven of Pentacles, so kind of restricted, waiting. Um, you getting to finish what you started. Frustrated also about how things are going. There could be no activity right now. It's like you're waiting for something to grow. Waiting for the harvest. Could be waiting for money. Waiting for uh, an opportunity. Waiting for a phone call. Waiting. Let's see. Yeah, so are you definitely Ten of Pentacles. Waiting for money. Waiting for a growth. Waiting for stability. Waiting for... Um, Someone to pop the question, marry into affluence, waiting for the the transition or the transference of wealth, says the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, the advice for you right now is to stay home, especially with the Ten of Pentacles. And also, if you don't like your family, go make your own, says the Ten of Pentacles. It also says, um, you know, happy organized people build empires. So... It's like you you may be in a waiting place or a holding place. Some of you are waiting for um, like a phone call, uh, opportunity to come into you to um, to start something. Some of you could be waiting for a masculine energy also. It could be a particular person. Some of you could be waiting for a Virgo. It's like you want to build with them. You want to be with them. You want to have a life with them. One more card for how Aquarius is coming into the reading. Wow, Knight of Pentacles. So some of you got some big money coming your way. You've done the work, definitely in the Seven of Pentacles. You're persevering through. Uh, you're seeing it through the Knight of Pentacles. Some of you will travel for work, or you do work where there is travel associated, or you have to travel every once in a while. Um, this is also um, being dedicated, devoted, committed to whatever it is you're doing, uh, dotting all your I's, crossing your T's. This is being like a bulldog protective over your work. This is a perfectionist. Um, some of you are waiting for a more committed relationship also. You're waiting for someone to uh, pop the question again or at least to, you know, um, state their intentions in terms of what they'll do. Let's see what the energy is for an external person, an external person to this reading. Some of you are waiting for somebody to come back. You feel like this is the one. What is the energy of an external person? Wow, the nine of pentacles. So we've got something about manifestation. Some of you are manifesting a more committed relationship. Some of you are man manifesting a lot of money. You know, you're you're doing your energy work. You're actually doing work to bring in money also. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is how your person or an external person to the reading is coming up. So they are waiting also. Um, it seems as if, I don't know, if you hold the, the key or you're the puzzle piece or vice versa. This is how they feel about you. The Nine of Pentacles, they're also, um, I don't know, they could just be waiting. They're not really engaging in a lot in a, in a in relationship. This is a very... You know, abundant person. They're single. They could be not wanting to, you know, have an intimate relationship. They could be all about money or business right now. Uh, let's clarify this nine of pentacles for an external person. The eight of cups. So they're kind of like going some soul searching journey. You could be dealing with a Piscean person. Um, this in terms. So your person could be in a way, you know studying experiencing a level of spirituality because now they have time to do so or they've been prompted by the universe to really delve into spirituality and make it their own so they could be going over their own personal philosophy right now and then they're on a spiritual trip this journey eight of cups to where they um they've done some self-analysis maybe they haven't been as spiritual minded as they should be or they're looking at something from a very carnal, worldly, physical, you know, standpoint. They need to view it a different way. Um, your person could be dis, you know, discontent 
you know, uh, bored with options, with what their life is right now. Therefore, they're going on this journey. They're finishing up something and then they're going to move on. And I don't know if it's moving on to you. It's like maybe your person is preparing for union also. It looks like there's a union on your side where you're waiting for. And this person is preparing for a union. So they could be walking away from people, place, thing, person, you know, whatever. It's just like... They have to do this and then they can be cleared. One more card to clarify the external person to this reading. The temperance card, it literally says getting your life in order. You know, so this person could uh, not be drinking um, or trying to moderate or be moderate about some choices that could be, you know, kind of um, contrary to being in a commitment or offering commitment. Um, your person also could be trying to get their health together. Uh, they're trying to, you know, take the middle ground and everything. And they're not trying to veer too far to the left or to the right. But they're trying to, you know, walk a straight path here. Again, it talks about getting your life in order. So your person could be in a place where they need to get their life in order in terms of maybe even their health. This could be finances. This could be also um, people that they deal with. Relationship. What is the energy between... Aquarius and this external person. This card wanted to fly out of the deck. The Knight of Swords. So, a rush. A rush of energy. That's the energy here. It's like, the both of you want to rush this or move forward or, you know, um, you want to persuade or somebody wants to persuade. Somebody, the both of you or one of you feels like the other person is getting away. And it's like you want to rush towards them and maybe even confront them. Not too much in a negative way, but confront them in terms of what are their intentions. You, somebody also wants to draw you back in. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups. Somebody feels like, okay, the Aquarius is getting away. I need to do something big to pull them back. This is this is how you feel about um, your person. You, know, you feel like you have to do something big to try to pull them back. All right, let's see. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords. The Strength card. Yeah, so it's like... Um, Someone could want to date you. There's a lot of mystery surrounding being a part. Um, it's like, well, what are you doing? It's mystery surrounding the other person's finances, um, love relationship, who they're dating, who they're with. Um, there's also a lot of holding back out of, you know, trust issues. You know, maybe you trusted this person before you got your heart broken. Vice versa, they could feel the same way. There's a lot of reserving, you know, reserving your energy and your true feelings out of you know, fear and uh, distrust. Um, a man's fear bringeth error or it brings a snare. So, it, so anytime you make a decision out of fear, it's always going to, you know, lead you down the road of an error or, or the wrong choice you know as i always say you know making decisions out of fear is always the wrong choice you know um so the both of you are you know holding back from one another uh because you know just fear fear-based choices um let's see what is the advice for aquarius moving forward let's see well let's see who you're dealing with let's see if we can pull some energy in terms of whom you're dealing with. Let's see. This is the archetype of this external person. All right, let's see. It's the archetype of this external person. Who is this? Let's see. Um, someone with great fortune, or they see this with you. Wow, high honor. This is somebody who's got this shit so together. Okay, great fortune, high honor. This is somebody who may get a lot of recognition, accolades in their community. Um, people put them on a pedestal. They've done a lot to earn their success. Uh, they could be very public. Whoa, and sudden wealth came out. So this could be a person that you're manifesting or they're trying to manifest you. Sudden wealth, great fortune. This talks about big money. So somebody here, whomever you're dealing with, or this person external to you that has a lot of money, you know, great fortune. Um, they're fortunate, you know, 
again, we had a, you know, the strength card coming up talks about mystery around, you know, the other person's finances. The eight, which is the strength card, talks about, you know, large sums of money, inheritance. Maybe this person, you know, just is coming from a wealthy family or they've done a lot in their life. So they have a lot to offer. Um, 25 is a really lucky number. It's, um, what is it, the Royal Lion? Um, this person has a lot of success and they have the help of the higher ups also. Whoever this is, you know, they, I mean, they're all the way together for real. Like, you know, there's no, you know, if, ands, or buts about it. They have their, you know, they have this stuff together here. Um, they could have come into money, you know, all of a sudden, or I heard this person could have been married a few times, and then they just how they had what their wealth. What else does Aquarius need to know about this person external to the reading? Thought so it could be a masculine energy. We do have the man thinking of a woman, or if you're in a same sex relationship, then you need to kind of put the this is the feminine energy, that's the masculine one. So, um, do we have a masculine energy thinking of a feminine energy? They are part, there is restriction here because there needs to be a maturity. Something needs to mature. For it to mature, if your loan matures, that means it's, it's done, it's over. Um, so some, somebody needs to end something and then they can come out of it, okay? And then they can start something new with you. The person's doing a lot of work, maybe to change themselves, change what they have going on. Let's see. This person is in deep thought about you. Um, if you're a feminine energy, um, what you're doing, how you're doing it, who you're with, who you're dating, if you're dating. Yeah, we saw that with the strength card also. Um, let's see what else. Let's see if we can see a sign. You know, a double sign. Of, um, who you're doing it. Let's see if we'll get some information. What do you want to provide the Aquarius with in terms of this reading? What is going on in this? It looks like two people just need to take their lives apart and then they can come back together. Yeah, square, a challenge. I'm talking. You have stalls, okay? Uh, pressure, frustration. We talked about that. Demands and struggles. Uh, reconciles. Yeah, it's like the person has on their side, they got to get their life together. You know, it, it could be money. It could just be getting your life in order. Maybe, you know, they just live a very carefree chaotic life they did with their whatever went wherever they did whoever whatever and they have to kind of you know kind of shift their focus into commitment and then for you Aquarius it looks like you're waiting for money you're waiting for abundance you're waiting for an overflow you're waiting for more than enough um so the challenge is that both of you are doing something separately you know you can't do it together when I woke up this morning I heard all my Spanish-speaking people will understand this. Um, solamente. And then I looked it up and it goes just or only. You know, and then I start to go down the rabbit hole. And I'm like, so I'm like, okay, so it's Spanish. So, you know, I started to look at songs that have the word solamente. And it was like, you know, you know to you or, or you know, um, what's, I can't even say you in Spanish. I can't read Spanish. Okay. Speak it, don't get me to sounding crazy. Um, yeah, so anyhow, this you know, I kind of got the message that right now, this is a time for the collective, the Aquarius collective, to only or just focus on themselves. Okay, this is not a time because you got to swear it's a challenge. It's not a time for you to be focused on love and family and friends and definitely love and I want love and love and the other person. It's a time for you to focus on you, Aquarius. And to yeah, I think we're back. Okay. Yeah, it's a time for you to focus on you. Sorry about that. I pulled the cord out of the uh, microphone. Um, it's a time for you to focus on you right now. It is a challenge. Okay. You could be waiting for money. This other person has a lot of it. You know, um, 
But they need to get their lives together. You might have your spiritual life together and all that. They don't, you know, just like the adverse. They are all messed up on the inside and they're good on the outside. You may be kind of janky on the outside in terms of finances, uh, but you know, really grounded spiritually. Or you could just be put together and you know, you're waiting for your person to get themselves together so that the relationship can last. Not so that you can reconcile, do the same thing, curse each other out, and then part ways again, and then run down to the YouTube and watch tarot card readings about when they'll come back. Like, come on. Come out of that, you know. Let's see. What else do we have for a quick Pluto transformation? Can't make it up. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, or some of you are going through. It looks like your person could be going through that deep transformation um, energy where, like, everything is changing their belief system we saw them kind of delving into spirituality needing to pull from that because they've been too you know carnal worldly physical minded you know material so they have to kind of delve into that um you know I, what i was reading up on the death card the death card is associated with of course pluto and uh, scorpio and um i was reading up on the death card and it says you know Sometimes it's a temporary pause before reconciliation. So you can look at it like that, especially for this reading. Some of you, you know, you had to have that pause from your person. And then, you know, they, you guys can come back together possibly if you, if, if the both of you get it together. But guess what happens? Free will. So good luck with that. Pray for your person that they get it together. Pray for yourself too. Um, let's see. Capricorn, the boss. So some of you dealing with somebody who is the boss, they're very serious, authoritative, um, ambitious, rigid, disciplined, corporate, down to earth also, competent, majestic, you know, just um, accomplished, you know. Um, they've done a lot, and we saw that with all the cards that came out on their side. Um, and maybe you're trying to get there, Aquarius. Um, you got some great ideas, and it looks like you just need to continue to manifest, okay? Our last card for Aquarius in terms of the, what is this deck? I forget the name of this deck. Okay, not going to pronounce that word. Maybe you can. All right. Complexity. So something that's, you know, it irritates, it's puzzled, it mystifies. But there is education being, you know, had here. You're, you're learning about something. Um transforms come is coming up again it requires translation that's so funny because i woke up with so lamenting on my mind i'm like so i don't speak spanish but i know the spanish and um i had to go and translate it right so some of you you may be getting messages you just need to translate them you know if, it's, if something is coming to you you don't understand it write it down um Okay, so I'll tell you about another uh, dream I had. So it was a dream about um, his ex. And uh, we were like walking down the street together. But then there was like, as we were walking, there's like water. And then, of course, there's a sidewalk. But as we're, we're moving down the street, I would get in the water and like swim through the water. And he would just walk on the sidewalk. And it just kept happening. And I mean, it could be interpreted, you know, as, you know, feminine energy is water. You know, maybe the divine feminine, the masculine is more so earthy, um, physical, you know, the 3D, the here and now. And that's why he kept walking on the earth, you know, walking on the sidewalk. And I kept swimming in the water, but we would meet up, you know, it was the weirdest thing. But anyhow, um, so some of you are, you're, you're getting messages and you just need to make sense of them right now. You're going to have to translate. It's a puzzle here. The universe is not giving you the entire um, picture. They're just giving you puzzle pieces. They don't want you to know. It's a surprise. For some of you, I feel like with all of these great cards that came out, it's a good surprise. But it's not for you to know the end. Go through. The only way through is through. Go through it. You know, um... Don't be so attracted to and so, you know, hell bent on the outcome or the end game. But um, go through the process, you know, because that, that's the story. That's the testimony. 
you know, uh, in the process. It's not the end game. Like, oh, yeah, and I'm a millionaire, you know, and it, it, well, how did you get there? Oh, I can't really remember because I was too focused on getting here. Well, you know, you focus on the process of coming together. I think a few months ago, we had amalgamation for Aquarius. Look that word up. You know, it's, it's the process of bringing two entities together. Um, so it's like amalgamation. So that's what maybe what the universe is trying to do here, trying to bring two, you know, big entities too big you know um you know um what's the word like um big personalities together you know um it's going to be major it's going to be big it's going to be abundant look you got when you get these two cards in this deck together that's huge read the book most people don't and i mean and you can't you don't have to read the book that comes with these oracle cards because you can come up with your own reading but just to read the book and then use your intuition, it's major. But when you get these two cards in a spread, that's that, that's big. It's huge. You know, it's monumental. It's something you can't even fathom. Like, you're like, what? And we see that with your person. And then they got two, another really great card in this deck. You know, whomever your person is, um, they got their stuff together. Or this is going to be a very big relationship that's going to not only impact you two, but so many people around you, maybe even generations to come with the Ten of Pentacles coming out. Um, but right now, it's a square. It's, um, it's a complexity. Somebody's going through transformation. Somebody's a boss. And it's, it's just hard for maybe somebody to concede to this. Um... I'm seeing domination in the reverse. Okay, I'm seeing domination in the reverse. So it's like maybe the universe is trying to get you both to a place where you you're not your energy is not one is not trying to dominate the other, but it's you know it's complementary. You know, you guys will complement each other. Um, let's see, what else do we? Have? I just saw legacy. Let's see if it'll come out. All right, what else do we want to tell Aquarius? And then we're gonna get out of here. This is an amazing reading, Aquarius can't make this stuff up growth it's like you both have to grow in your own regard in your own respect you know um we talked about maybe what your person needs to deal with and then we're talking about what you have to deal with um let's see uh, what is going on for the Aquarius? yeah somebody's hard-headed we saw capricorn the boss someone's hard-headed they won't learn the lesson they're not listening to their intuition i feel like it might be your person so they're going through this karma in this karmic situation but they're also kind of grasping and reaching for spirituality with that eight of cups coming out it just doesn't talk about being bored or discontent but it also talks about a spiritual journey of unknown one so you might be waiting for your person for a while hopefully it comes soon hopefully you know whatever i don't know um but with the eight of cups it's it's, it's that finishing something up it's like your person has to finish up some cycle maybe even some for some of you your person has to walk away a relationship of some sort anniversary coming out um this is graduation and maturity also it's like you know the, the both of you have to do that in your own you know little way you have to mature you have to grow you, you still are ascending i know some of you are like i healed and i'm this and i'm that the healing and the growth it never ends you know it, until the day you you stop breathing so don't argue with me or any other reader, when you say heal, heal, grow, you know, just do it. Just continue to, what I always say, just keep waking up. You know, if you don't wake up, then we got a problem, you know. So, just do that. Let's see. Okay, that these cards are going to pop out. I know money is holding me back, and that may be for you, Aquarius, or your person texting. It's like... Maybe, okay, so some of you are getting words. They say words. You're getting words. You're getting little clues or little hints about maybe your situation. Um, right, and right now you're both at a place of not making any moves. It's for the best. It's for the best is what I'm hearing. It's for the best. Some of you don't want to hear that. You want your person now, but it'll be just what I described earlier. You get back together, stay together for a little while, curse each other out, and then, you know, you broke up. 
If that's the game you want to play, then go rush to them. But I will put money on it. You know, that that, that would happen. You know, if you, you guys are not going to run off into the sunset before there is maturity. There is growth. Okay? So be working on that for yourself. There might be some areas that you may have overlooked within yourself. Um, maybe some areas you thought that you dealt with. Deal. You know, and let that be your, what you meditate on, what you pray on. You say, you know, Spirit, God, whatever you believe in, please illuminate to me all the areas that I need to fix within me. You know, I, I feel like God's Spirit really likes prayers like that because I'm pretty sure He gets the ones of, I need money, I need money now, and uh, thank you for your blessings. You know, so, you know, say a different meditation or prayer so that you can do the work, so that you can be ready either for this person or a new person. But it's about being ready, and I don't think Spirit is going to put you in anything prematurely because um, you will corrupt another soul. You know, if you're not ready for it, you'll kind of mess something up. All right, let's see what these cards have to offer you, Aquarius, and then we're out of here. This is like the bomb reading. I think this really resonates with Okay, failure to plan is a plan to fail. Write it down. We And then we have texting. You know, that could be interpreting as writing. You know, that's what you're doing when you text, right? Um, you need to write something down. You need to come up with a plan, Aquarius, in terms of maybe a business, uh, the business of you, what it looks like. Um, you need to write something down. You got a lot going on, swirling in your brain, but you need to make it real because you're trying to manifest a lot. So you might need to get a business plan going. Okay. Um, okay, so we've got... So we got to wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. So some of you just need to wait on, you know, your God to come in and help. You know, for it is us to do the possible. It is for God to do the impossible. So if it is possible for you to do, get acting on it. Write it down. Make it happen, okay? Um, and then we had a catty, petty, dramatic, and gossipy, a warmonger. So somebody's got to come out of that spirit of chaos and drama and fight. Um, a lot of times you'll see people in this energy or who people who create this type of energy because they thrive in it. And, and most times it's one of the either the six negative signs or the six positive signs. Now the six negative signs does not mean that they're negative people. But it just means that they can thrive in the most negative situations and maybe sometimes they may even create a bit of that negativity or that drama or that drama because they can thrive in it you know um so you might be dealing so look up with the six negative and the six positive signs and figure out you know where that fits in in your life you may be dealing with a warmonger maybe dealing with somebody who loves drama they may say that they don't or they do let's see we'll get one more um Kundalini awakening. Okay, very nice. Concentrated energy of awareness or attention. So some of you may be having a, a Kundalini awakening or you've already gone through, so you're concentrating your energy and your awareness. Therefore, your know, spirit is really speaking to you, speaking through you. Um, there could be even um, prophetic word coming from you. Okay, all right. Spirit just knocked like three cards out of my hand. I put the cards down and knocked them out onto the floor. So we'll, we'll, we'll take them, right? So some of you, um, and look up Kundalini Awakenings. You know, it's not always that it has to be, because you can have spontaneous Kundalini Awakening. I know a lot of people go into, you know, it happens during sexual activity. It could. Um, but look look that up and see, you know, where that fits in in your life. Work gets rewarded. Do the work. We always say that here on this channel. Do the work. For it is on us to do the possible and for God to do the impossible. Okay? So if you're not doing anything, in your life if you're not active if you're not working then what are you manifesting nothing right nothing from you know nothing equals nothing so you know do the work all right and then we got usurp 
Okay, so to take a position of power or importance illegally or by force. And we had domination come out in the reverse. So it's like maybe the universe is trying to get you or your person to a place of understanding that they don't need to be so forceful, aggressive. Um, they don't need to assert themselves by force or you know, illegally. Um, they don't have to... It can be the yin and the yang. It can be the balance. And somebody needs to see that. Somebody is not seeing what the feminine or the masculine energy really brings to the table, brings to a relationship, how it is the missing puzzle piece, you know, in your life. Yes, you may have gone on and, got, and gotten a job and done very well in your career and you have money and you have this and you have that and you have that and you have this and you take this vacation and you drive that car and so forth and so on but you're still feeling as if something is missing and that is because you know maybe you haven't really you know um had some express knowledge of what a better half is and what it will do for you you know energetically and maybe you, some of you have been so dominant you know um well you've dealt with dominant people who try to force something on you you know uh, okay, so 23 is a highly fortunate number. Royal star of the lion. Okay, so you could be 23. You could be born on the 23rd. I think. Or what, January? It, that might be. Uh, I don't know. That would make so, But you're close to Capricorn. So some of you could be Capricorn, Aquarius, Cusp. Um, Royal Star of the Lion ensures success, assistance, and support from higher ups. The person is protected. So, somebody is protected here. Didn't we have 23? 26, 25. Uh, I think I, I got 25 and 23 mixed up. But 25 is a really lucky, fortunate number, also. But this is a highly fortunate number. Royal Star of the Lion, okay? So, Maybe the 23rd of June will be significant for you, or the 23rd of May was significant for you. It just ensures success and assistance from higher ups, okay? And we're seeing that. It seems as if something is coming in for, uh, for you. We also have that your person is, you know, we have that word high. You know, this talks about um, highly, and then we have higher. So your person could be very fortunate. They could come into your life and offer a lot of assistance, okay? Uh, this is what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that it resonates. Please let me know what part down, what part of this reading down in the comment section resonated for you. Um, share the video. Like, 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 like. And if you took something from the reading, give something back. You could buy me a coffee. You could click the link. And you could buy me a coffee if you're feeling moved to do so. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um... Also, get your black tour, uh, black tourmaline and amethyst bracelets. I tell you, they, they are phenomenal. Uh, what I did with these bracelets um, was, um, you know, I did pray over them for seven days and seven nights. And uh, the energy just associated with the bracelets is, is phenomenal in, in terms of healing and protection. Um, get these bracelets. Uh, you know, if you're feeling moved to do so, the link is below. You can also come learn the Tarot with me. Classes are linked below. Um, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.